Begin. Do you have to be honest? Yes, you have to be honest. <laughs> Is it off? It's off. It's still on? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you can. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> Guaranteed. What's his name, Bill? I've forgotten. <laughs> we both can't remember. We both times we'll be married 61 years. So you know what I've been going through the last 61 years. Including my confirmation. Your full name. Sally Ann Rush. R U S H. R U S H. What's your maiden name? Nettleblatt. But I, when I legally, my name doesn't have Nettleblatt on it. And when and where were you born? Worcester, Massachusetts. When? 1936. Mm -hmm. Gramps? September 30th. 1934, Hartford, Connecticut. Tell me about your childhood. But um, it was beautiful, really. Overlooked that big, huge lake that's up on Highway 84 and uh, outside of Boston. And I uh, was in a show, a dancing show, when I was three. And they told me I had a future in dancing <laughs> and singing. Grams, tell me about your childhood. Well, I lived on Fairview Street, which was a second floor apartment in a three-story building until about the fourth or fifth grade. At that point, I was going to Our Lady of Sorrows Grammar School. I changed over to St. Thomas the Apostle School, which was in West Harvard when we moved to Brunswick Avenue when I was in the fourth or fifth grade. What were you like in high school? Well, I had a good time in high school. Uh, I went to, I didn't care, I didn't wish to learn anything in the classes, but I had a really, truly enjoyable time in high school. What were you like in high school? I was busy. I uh, had a job in a drugstore. And so I did that after school. Where did you go to college and how was it? I went to Wesleyan University in Middletown, Connecticut. A little different than grammar school or high school, because in high school I did not wish to learn. In college I did not mind if I learned as long as I didn't have to do any effort to do so. I had truly enjoyed myself in college. It was very good. That's how I became a lifeguard. I it was just a regular swimmer. But my mother called and said the golf club were my father worked 
I was a pro there, they had put in a pool and they're looking for lifeguards and they have to have one woman lifeguard. Okay, now we have cousin questions. And the first question from Colin Rush is, ask grandpa if he didn't smoke two packs a day for 70 years, what would he have done with all the money he would have saved? Very good. I would have saved it for my grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, next question is for Graham from Aiden. He said, can you ask Grandma how she makes 10 out of 10 Swedish pancakes every time? Yeah, I think I did have this conversation with him once. He wanted it written down and I didn't do it. I got <laughs> it, so thank you. Uh, girl, we have to do that. Harvey? We have the recipe, we have the pan. I'll make it some morning if you'd yeah, like. thank you. Next question is from Julia, and she says, ask both of them, how was it raising four boys that look and act 100% completely different? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, each one has special abilities and interests. How was it raising four boys? Well, in some ways it was easy because uh, it was... Uh, Kieran helped me. <laughs> Kieran was always there, and Brian too. Uh, he would sit next to the crib when he was ha Aiden was having a, a nap, and Brian would just sit there. As I was concerned, I always felt badly when I could go to work, leaving Sally with four young boys. <laughs> Kieran asked Sally once, someone had told her that I had died because he hadn't seen me for a while because I went to work before he got up and came home after he went to bed. Aww. So yeah, Sally was, but it was true that I died. A question from Brendan. He said, ask grandpa, was it hard having such a time consuming job to balance everything? No, I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it? Not, not, not that it was easy. But when you enjoy something, it's not always treated as work. In the group text, Will texted and said, I'm in Ireland right now. Found out we aren't Irish. <laughs> 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 and then Aiden responded and said, Will, you're a quarter Irish, just like me. <laughs> and then Katie texted and said, that was a random contribution, Will. <laughs> Katie wants to know what you guys talked about on your first date. We were both lifeguards at the same swimming pool. It was almost our last date, so we, after we finished, we went to a movie in Hartford. And we're walking in there, a group of kids on the, guys on the corner, and one of them made a remark about Sally. <laughs> so I went over and talked to the <laughs> biggest one and tried to explain to him that I did not appreciate that. I did not wish them to make any more comments. Oh. And Sally thought that was a dumb thing to do. <laughs> but at the time, it seemed okay to me. Oh. But you know, almost didn't go with me again. Well, what I remember before that is you had asked if I had any errands that needed to be taken care of. Our first date was doing an errand for you <laughs> 61 years later. I'm still doing that. <laughs> Colin asked, if you guys could do anything different over in your life, what would it be? I would learn to say much earlier than I do now that whatever you decide, Sally, will be the right thing to do. <laughs> You've already used it too many times. No, I would learn to say it earlier <laughs> without, without being sarcastic. <laughs> Graham, do you have anything? No, my mother was a big help for me. We could go places and do things, and uh, she was very good with the children. I don't know. Nothing? I don't. I That's think. a good way to live. I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't change a thing. Next question is, how did you get into law? I went to law school, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and I... Uh, was editor-in-chief of the Law Review, and that was the first year they had, when I graduated, the first year they had law clerks. I became a law clerk for the Chief Justice 
Raymond Baldwin, who had been governor, senator, and was then chief justice. And then I went from there to his former law firm, which was then known as Pullman, Cumley, Bradley, and Reeves, with his recommendation. Do you want to talk about like how long you were a lawyer, and then when you became a judge? Well, I graduated from law school in 59. I was a law clerk for a year. I was with Pullman, Cumley as a lawyer from 1960 to 1991. I became a judge in 1991. I became 70 in 2004. Uh, so I was a judge from 91 to 04. From 04 to the present time, I'm a uh, trial judge. I'm qualified to try all cases in the county. You're a big deal. That's not true. Ask my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Graham, what is the best advice that you have? Always feel you can talk to your parents about something that's important, but you don't. And even when you're old, I mean, having communication, asking a question, and uh, they'll, they'll be willing, they'll be happy to, to give you an answer. They're wise people. What about you, Gramps? What's the best advice that you have? When you get a job, get a job doing something you like, then it's not work. But when you leave every day, you just carry out your responsibilities. What is one thing you want your grandkids to know about you that we don't know already? Oh my God. <laughs> 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 mm, I, I don't know. I pray a lot, and I want them to know that I pray a lot in my old, my way. I keep, it, really, I keep them in mind and I wonder what they're doing and I always say, oh God, be there with you when they need you. I'd like you to know that you don't already know. I think I've never hidden anything from my grandchildren. <laughs> so they, what if you did? I've never hidden anything from my grandchildren. I've done some things in my life that they don't know about. <laughs> 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 but I could say it. I could talk a long time for that, but I'm not going to. That's for the book. Are you going to write a book? I've been thinking about it. Life Before and After Sally. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Graham's told me. That's what I said I was going to write. He said Life Before Sally <laughs> and Life After Sally. <laughs> Is there anything you want to do that you haven't done yet? I want to be thankful for what I have. And what I can do and what I can't do. You know, you never know what's coming. Yeah. I would always like to do some skydiving, but probably <laughs> they would not allow me to do it being 84 years old. We should do it. <laughs> <laughs> I could. <laughs>
just begun to get a share of this world's delight. Hi. High hopes we have for the future. 